Hey guys, I was just making a jumper cable for and that's Anderson power pole connected and I, I did one side and I figured I'd show you guys how you create an Anderson power pole connector on standard stranded copper wire. So first and foremost, why would you need that? If you're into ham radio and other 12 volt accessories or equipment, um, a lot of times Anderson power pole is the connector that you can utilize in order to connect things. So you can see I've got some of these, this equipment right here um, that is all Anderson power pole. You can see it just unplugs and you plug it back in like that. And so there is an orientation to it and you can screw it up. Um, or I should say there's an orientation for most standards that are this way. It's typically red is on the right, black is on the left. And if you look at the connector like that, the pins will be facing down if you're looking at it this way. So um, let's go ahead and show you how you, you make one. So it consists of two different things. So you've got your, your terminal connector. Let's see if that's going to focus. And this is just a silver connector um, that you can see it has a little hook to it and that's the part that that points down uh, on the connector so it will hook down like that uh, when it goes in the connector so that's the part that you'll put on the bare wire and then you also have the connectors here um, you know your positive and negative connectors and let's see can you guys see those okay? And so you can see the little solid part, that's gonna be on the downside when we're creating it. So that's where the hook will go down into from the terminal. And so they also have these little dovetails on the side of the connector. And so you can see this one's convex and this one's concave. And so I don't know if I can be able to show this on camera very well, but um, they just slide together like that. And so you want to make sure that your your red is on the right with the hole on the top and the solid piece on the bottom. So when we're holding it like that, that's how it should look. Um, and so these terminals, these silver terminals that we have here are just going to slide inside of it and they'll hook onto the inside of that there's a little spring in there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it will hook over the end of that spring. And once you get it in there, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get them out. Um, but that's a good thing. It makes the connection solid. But they just slide in. They go in like that. And so let's go ahead and, and do what we need to do. Um, in order to do this, you're going to need a couple things. Um, you're going to need some kind of wire stripper of sorts. So you've got your standard wire strippers like this one we have here. Um, and these work just fine. But I've really been enjoying this kind lately. This is a self-adjusting one. So it, it grabs onto the wire and then it just strips it out like that. And I'll show you how this one works. Um, the other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a crimper. Um, this crimper is made specifically for power poles. And you can see this die right here. It has um, three different settings in it. Um, let's see, focus, there we go. And so I don't know how well you can read it, but it says 15, 30, and 45. That's for the different amp rating types. We happen to have 30 amp types here. These are 30 amp um, connectors. And so that's what we'll be using. We'll be using that middle die in order to create the crimp. Um, but let's go ahead and let's strip our wire. Um, so the first thing I need to do is I need this. I like using this wire. My dad told me about this. This is um, basically lawn um, gardening wire. Uh, it's used for you know applications outside, so it's got a really good UV shielding to it. Um, I use it on my solar panels, and it works really great. This is. Um, 12 uh, gauge wire and works really well. The problem with this, and you'll probably see it when I'm trying to put these connectors on, is this wire is at, at the upper threshold of what will go into this 30 amp um, connector. 
So we're going to have to squeeze it in. It's going to be really tight in order for us to put it in, but let's go ahead and, and start that. So I'm just going to get my knife out here and I'm just going to split this wire so that we can, we can start getting it apart. So you just kind of pull it apart a little bit. And so you can see now on for this one, you know, a lot of times you've got wire. Let's see here. I believe I've got another wire sticking around here. Here we go. So a lot of times, you know, wire comes in red and black, so it's easy for the orientation. And obviously this one is two black wires, but what it does have is, uh, you know, this may be hard to see, but there's a little ridge on this side. And so I always orient it that the, the ridge means positive. So I always put the red on that and the smooth one is negative. So that's how I personally do it. You know, whether that's correct or not, whatever, that's what I've been doing. Um, but we just take, we're gonna take our, our stripper here and put it in. You're gonna need about, you know, a little under half an inch. And so you just put it in like this and pull it out and you can see it, it made our strip. The one problem with this can, uh, is the little pieces get stuck in there sometimes. So you gotta kinda get them out. And so let's go ahead and do our negative side as well. There we go. Put the crimper off to the side, or the stripper. And so now we've got the, our two bare wires here um, that you can see. And what I like to do is I twist them. So I make them as small as possible and also so they won't fray when putting the terminals on. So I'm gonna try to make this as clean as I can for this video, but I'm sure we may get some stray wires that we're gonna have, that we're gonna have to correct. So for this, We just, this is where you need to make sure that you're good on your orientation. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this one on there without it. too many spare wires coming across. Okay, that was pretty good. So this is our positive. So you can see that we've got the, the terminal pointing down like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the negative side. So we're gonna take our negative and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, there we go. So we got our two terminals on the end of the raw wire. They're not crimped right now. Let's see, that won't focus for some reason. There we go. So we've got them, you can see they're, they're pointing down like that. This is our positive side right here with the ridge. And so what we're gonna do is we take our crimper here and all you do, and let's see how I can do this on camera so it's um, good for you guys to see it. Um, but you can see that that middle, middle section has a hole there and you just go um, with the terminal, with the hook facing down and you just put it right into that area. And then you just squeeze this and it's a ratcheting mechanism and so you'll hear it pop. And so then we've got our crimped connection and that is not coming off. That thing is on there really solid. Um, you can see it's got the line now. Um, it's got the line on the top and on the bottom it does another crimp right there that you can see that um, is really, it's a good mechanical connection. It's gonna stick on there really well. And so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do the other one off camera. Now if you were to have a high usage on these, say you're unplugging them and plugging them in all the time, you can take an extra step here and you can solder these. So you can come in and you put some solder in right there or in the back and flow it into the connector there so it's a solid connection and it's really gonna ensure that um, it doesn't come apart. But in my experience, um, I've never had one of them come apart um, yet. So um, I realize that some people like to do that, but for me, it's not necessary for my use case. Um, but now all we do, you can see we've got our connectors here and they're gonna go on like this. And so we're just gonna pop them in. Let's see, let's see if I can show that again. 
So they're just gonna go in like that with the hook facing down. And these things can be sometimes a bear to put in, but let's see if we can't do it here on camera. There we go. And you'll hear a little pop when they pop in. Yeah, and now we're, you can see it's solid. It's not going anywhere and those things are connected. Um, and so you, now we have a nice solid connection here. And now we could use this for this connector that we have here. So if I wanted to plug this in, I would just go like so and you can see it plugs right in, no issues there. And you know, if we wanted to plug this into a radio or into a battery or whatever the case may be, whatever 12 volt application that we have, um, we could utilize this jumper now for that. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you um, create an Anderson power pole connection and Super versatile, super useful connection, um, especially if you're, you've got a lot of 12 volt applications, whether it be you know, solar or ham radio or whatever the case may be. Um, this is a really useful connector um, for quick disconnects and reconnects and it's a solid connection and it takes a good amount of force to pull it. It's not just gonna un undo on its own. It will require a, you know, a little bit of pressure to pull them apart. And so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video and this was helpful for you. I will talk to you later.